students and the vice president of Exa Dallas. That's the chapter Mami Helen was part of in Exa USA. So I'm here today just representing a national president, Professor Joyce Ashutanga. I'm here representing her today on behalf of the whole Exa USA. Um, thank you so much really, for Exa UK, the demands, and all the chapters actually. London. No. No. Okay. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for being here and taking care of Mama in her absence. She was with us in Dallas for a long time. Um, she's a mother and she so happened to be here when everything happened. And seeing the family that's here and that has taken care of her like she was your own. It's a blessing and we just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting Irene and her whole family and being here. And we also want to thank um, Auntie Catherine, her daughter, who really made sure that mom stayed connected to Exile USA. As even when she was sick, she tried as much as possible to come to the meetings, be active and participate in the chapter. So it's our duty here to live up to her legacy of being an active member. And we just wanted to present this to the family. It's Irene and Now, two of her daughters are already members of Exa USA, Comfort and Auntie Catherine. And we just wanted to present this to you guys so you always remember Mama and her affiliation for, with Exa USA. So uh, you can take a, cut a part of it, put it in a frame, put it on the wall, uh, but just have that for us to remember how much Mama was a part of Exa USA. And Exa body as well. So thank you. USA, but Mami, for some reason, chose to come to the UK to visit Irene, and she alone know why she chose to come at this time. Make no mistake, nothing happens, everything happens for a reason, and God determines what happens. But in my mind, I think Mami probably know, only she knows why she chose to come and die in Birmingham, because I think she knew that she was going to die. Maybe not exactly um, when, but she decided to die in Birmingham, which has given XI UK an honor, and all of us here present, the CWA, all the family and well wishers. So our XI UK president has to say a word or two, um, because obviously um, we have um, been handed this important um, respect we have to give due to the UK president for organizing all of us on stage um, to come today to pay my last respect. So our um, extra UK president, Sister and Jane Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well wish us. Exa, love, unity, and sisterhood. As Eneke says, it is an honor to bury our parents. Um, Mama's death is really very ironic and somewhat personal to me because Rhoda called me on my dad's birthday, the 18th of November, to tell me that Mama had died at Birmingham Hospital when my father died. So I, my first reaction was, why are you calling me on my dad's birthday to tell me that someone's died there where my dad died? What's going on? And then she says, oh, um, our member has died in the UK. I was like, oh no, it brings back so many memories. But let's not make this about it. Let's make it about it. So, obviously, I contacted Irene and said, look, we're here, sorry for your loss. And, you know, it's something that we've gone through. I spoke to Eneke, who's also close to the family, who ironically have also passed away in that hospital. So, <laughs> There's something about parents coming to the UK and learning the QE in Birmingham, but we are so honored to be here today to pay our last respects to one of us. Also, Mama actually used to be a Kumba chapter member of which my mom is a member. So my mom knows her very well. So when I spoke to my mom about one of her members dying, 
she was like, oh yes, she's a my chapter member. And I think she's been really late for that state. Yes. So it's really an honor for us to be here. And as you can see, our motto says love, unity, and sisterhood. So we are all here for you in love, in unity, and in sisterhood. Thank you.